everyone it's Fakisa and welcome back to the Canva Cafe and today's tutorial is this cute little booking um, Instagram post so let's get started I searched um, what did I search I searched book or booking or planner I think that's what I searched planner and it, in all the photos in Canva, this is the one I found that I like. I think it had a background and I just removed the background from it. And then of course I added a drop shadow and now I'm just placing it in the position that I want it. And I wanted it to be a little off center just to add a little um, visual interest. And if you get extra noise, I have my windows open. Okay, it's a nice fall day. So I decided I wanted to do like a gold background to make it a little bit glam. You could always hit the background button and it will automatically um, place it as the background. But sometimes when I do that, it stretches out the image a little bit too much and I don't like it. <laughs> so I decided just to grab the image and stretch it a bit. And then I duplicated it and then Put it at the bottom and stretch it out also but like i said you could just click um add to background and then it would just add it to the background i'm just being just being me Now I'm just going to add some text. And whenever I want to do two different fonts, I just write two different texts so that one word can be one font and the other one can be another font. And then I'm just gonna play around with the font. I don't think I actually found what I wanted, but I didn't wanna sit and scroll all day. And if you're finding value in the tutorials, don't forget to give me a thumbs up so that YouTube knows that you like it. <laughs> so I'm just adding a few more elements. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button now so you don't forget and you don't miss any more of these tutorials that I'm dropping. And that shampoo bottle was actually a mock-up that I made previously. And that QR code actually works. If you scan it, you'll see where it takes you to. And you can use one on your flyer to take your um, clients or your customers to your Instagram or whatever. And I was just trying out different backgrounds. That was a custom background that I made. And I did have a um, video tutorial on how to make your own custom background. And eventually I'm gonna remove that shampoo bottle. I was just trying different things. 
And sometimes that's all you can do is just try different things to see what you like. I'm just showing you like different placements, you know, just trying to give you ideas. And I'm trying to do a new posting schedule every Sunday and Monday. And right here, I was just finding other elements because I go down this rabbit hole. <laughs> so what I'm actually doing is adding them to folders. So when you come across elements that you like while you're designing, I would highly recommend you saving them to folders so that you have them for a future design because you may forget them and you, it'll be hard sometimes to find them again. And this is basically the end of the flyer. And I'm just gonna show a quick, um, a quick what am i gonna show <laughs> another version of the flyer just so you can get another idea and then after i do that i'm gonna show the the zhuzhed up version my version of what i would do with the flyer the extra af version because y'all know i'm extra Just showing you different um, background colors in case you happen to have one of these colors as your brand. And this is the zhuzhed up one. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye. Don't forget to comment and let me know what other tutorials you're interested in.